Thank you, Mr. Ranja, for your kind words. The next speaker is Mr. Janaid Bashir. He is a real estate professional and a community activist. He has organized events and raised funds to help the people of Pakistan following the massive floods and earthquakes. He is a true philanthropist, and we would love it if you would join us in welcoming Mr. Junaid Bashir to the stage. Good evening, assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Ambassador of Pakistan, we welcome you here in Washington, D.C. once again. Uh, Dr. Kazmi Saab has spoken so nicely and with beautiful words, so I don't have much to say, but uh, I will share one incident with you. A few years ago, we were protesting in front of the Embassy of Pakistan when His Excellency was DCM and the Ambassador was not there that day. We were about 300 people, a lot of ladies and kids, we were shouting, chanting, and we were planning to stay there for all day, so we had our lunch over there. Eating all the biryani, a lot of people wanted to go to the bathroom. And uh, there we were, against the embassy, and uh, we sent someone inside to get the permission if uh, kids and ladies could use the bathroom. And DCM, uh, Janab uh, Asad, uh, Asad uh, Saab said, oh, they are my own people, so please open the doors. And all those people who were protesting outside against embassy, they were inside the embassy. That shows his love for our community. He's a career diplomat, one of the highly qualified ever, more than 27 years in foreign office. He studied in Japan, he learned the Japanese language, went back to Pakistan, and when he came back to, and they sent him back to Japan as an ambassador. He has a tough task right now. Pakistan is standing at the crossroads right now. Where are we dealing with enemy inside? From Afghan border, we have those terror threats. And we have some hostility going on on the other side with the Indian border. And uh, America is not too happy with us either, even though uh, Janab Tarat Sahib is trying to make them believe that we're doing a good job. And it will be a very tough task for an ambassador. And it's not an uh, easy job, but I'm sure with his qualification, he will bring the United States and Pakistan on the table and uh, he will help to bring India and Pakistan on table and negotiate peace. Pakistan is prospering right now. We have a courageous leader who does not believe in losing. When he took office, he made it clear that he will not be the hired gun of any foreign nation. In the beginning, we were all scared that what he was talking about but later, we realized that he was right. And even President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, appreciates him at this point. And he wants to sit with them and use them as a tool to bring peace in Afghanistan, bring them on the table to negotiate peace. And I think that is a huge success at the foreign level for Pakistan. I remind you that Pakistan did not have a foreign minister for a few years. And our ambassadors had a very tough job. And they were acting not only as ambassador over here, but as a foreign minister of Pakistan. Now we have all things in place, all tools are there. We have very qualified Mr. Khan here. We have a highly qualified Prime Minister Mr. Khan in Pakistan. And those two Khans, inshallah, will bring Pakistan to a big nation, a successful nation, a peaceful nation. And we wish you very well, sir. We welcome you over here and wish Pakistan prosperity and great future ahead. Thank you, sir.